Conan Exiles is a brand new early access survival game set in an ancient civilization with monsters, dungeons and an unforgiving environment. Like most survival games, you'll need to gather, build and craft to become more powerful and increase your chances of survival. This game came to Steam on the 31st of January 2017, was both published and developed by Funcom and was made in Unreal Engine 4. In this video, I'll be going in completely blind and giving you my honest first impressions as a new player. So this is Conan Exiles a brand new survival game that's recently gone into early access that I know a lot of people are really hyped on and I've received quite a lot of requests to cover so let's see if it's worth your time and money in its current state. So before we jump in let's have a look at the settings gonna crank that field of view all the way up so when we click play online we've got three different options PvP PvP blitz and PvE PvP is just a normal server but encourages PvP combat PvP blitz is a much more fast paced PvP server in which leveling up and everything all the progression is a lot faster and the server resets in 30 days and PvE is as you'd expect just fight against the environment. We're gonna be ballsy and join a PvP Blitz server. There's only one server with a half decent population, so I'm gonna join this one. As with most survival games, it seems as though the loading screens are quite lengthy. Good early impressions. I really like the uh, visual fidelity on this zigzaggy mountain over here. It's slowly loading. We've got a few more pixels to look at. Right, so we've got Jesus in the background over there. I suppose we should go and help the poor bloke. Oh, no, this is my character. It's not Jesus. I'm sorry if I offended anyone. I'm sure I did. Well, right off the bat, it's asked me a very personal question. What's my religion? Mountain, snake, flaming skull, or bird? I'm going to have to go with the flaming skull religion. That sounds about right. All of the others are really fucking morbid. And then you've got male six. Yeah, let's be male six. You can drag his head around, which is nice. Eyebrows. Big and fucking bushy, that's what I want. Nice. Eyeshadow. Yeah, because people back then, they used to fire on all the eyeshadow. There we go. Nobody understands me, man. I've made a fucking barbarian emo right off the bat. Brilliant. I'm guessing food and eating is a thing in this game. So if I make my person ridiculously skinny, he's going to be used to not eating much. And therefore, we'll probably have a better hunger stat. We've gone from making him look like a normal person to a caveman in one slider. We're going to have really big eyes to help our character see better. You can have purple eyes, apparently, because that's a thing. The smaller we make our character, the harder he's going to be to hit in PvP. That's my logic. Breast size. Oh my god, this is the first game I have ever played that has a male boob slider. Conan Exiles for equality. Endowment, I... Nothing's sliding. Is that a dick slider? Wait, how the hell does the game know my name? I didn't type in a name or anything. Oh, okay. We're... Oh! We're just kind of floating and I just saw some random fucking dangly thing flaying around in the wind. I thought it was my dick at first, but it was my loincloth. Look at this poor fucker. Jeff hasn't had a good time, has he? Alright, so this game has third person and first person mode. Always nice. What is this? I've gained a level from just wandering around. Okay, game. So we need to go to the city, apparently. I have to say, the voice acting is uh, quite good. Done to a very high standard. We've got some friends over here. You alright, lads? Do you take falling damage in this game? I'm sure you probably do, but... Jump here! What the fuck is that? Okay! Since this is a survival game, my initial instinct would be to run around and punch trees. But there aren't any trees, so this is problem. But this is a bush. And yes, going over to the bush and hitting E does indeed gather stuff. It gathers fibre. And if there's anything I've learned from survival games, is you use fibre to make clothes and your starting stuff. We're also getting stones off the floor as well. This game has a crouch button. And the crouching seems swift and unrelenting. The teabagging in this game is going to be fantastic when you kill someone. Pressing I brings up your inventory and character window. So I've got some levels up. I can level up a bunch of things. So when it comes to crafting recipes, there's this big giant window of all of the things you can learn. Obviously, the more you level up, the better the stuff you can craft will be. 
as with any um, survival game, but it seems to be very well displayed. I really like how user-friendly this is. This doesn't really feel like the kind of survival game where I'm going to have to go away to YouTube and watch a half an hour guide to learn the basics. Oh, okay, my character is either thirsty or really cold, I'm not too sure. I guess we need to find an oasis. Maybe if I equip a torch. Hello? H hello? Is he di he died? And that's it. We, we died to the environment. It's a fucking gorilla. Is it? I think it's a gorilla. That is not a gorilla. What is it, dude? Oh, it's a fucking snake turtle. Get off of my land, mate. Can we punch a snake turtle to death? We're about to find out, aren't we? Oh, no. No, you cannot punch a snake turtle to death. Look at him, he's proud, isn't he? He's not even eating me, is he? He's just fucking scratching a dead corpse. Is this the first ever survival game I've ever played that punching trees doesn't give you branches? Innovation? What is that? Oh, piss off! It's a fat, overweight golem monster! Well, I wasn't expecting this game to have weird and wonderful monsters. I thought it was gonna be like a realistic slave-themed game. No, there's some true beasts of creation here. Piss off, George! Fuck off! Okay. Right, so if you go in for a punch, you're gonna get a punch back. Right, here's an animal that I know I can punch to death. An antelope. Punch it! Oh, fuck off! I was peacefully trying to kill the antelope and George fucking comes in hot. And spooks my prey. All right, can we swim in this game or do we drown? Oh, no, we can swim. Luckily, it doesn't seem as though there's any spooky monsters in the water. Not from what I can tell. I can punch whilst underwater, though. Right, I can't punch fish. This game's not realistic enough for me. Four out of fucking ten. So to drink in this game, you just go up to any water and press E, and that replenishes your first. You don't filter the water or anything. You don't make it safe to drink. You just fucking swallow that Ebola. Termite 951. That's his campfire. I mean, for a game that's just came to early access on Steam, it does seem to be quite functional. It's got everything you'd expect it to have. It's got the basic foundations in place. So it doesn't seem like one of those games that are too early for early access, like many, many survival games on Steam are. We got ourselves an axe, we're gonna chop this tree down, grab ourselves some wood. I also like how hovering over these stats actually tells you what they do. In many survival games, they don't do that, so that's great. You up, mate? Are you ready? He's gonna attack. I'm gonna... Okay. You're fast. Oh, fucking hell, I blocked you, mate. How was that attacking me? This is quite a, a monster not to fuck with. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, I've pissed it off. I've pissed it off. And I don't think I can run away fast enough. I am done and I am sorry. Oh, wow, you can actually swim backwards in this game. We've also found some floating rock. Okay, it's getting dark all of a sudden. There's a giant storm going on over here. Let's go explore. What's this? Don't worry, mate. I've, I've only got a sword. Apparently, I'm crippled now. I'm crippled. There's wolves after me, and it's not looking too hot for me. Go. Oh, brilliant. I, I, it, apparently, I'm walking through a fucking wolf nest. Yeah, it, it, I think this is the end of my days. Yeah. Oh, it, it wasn't a wolf. It was a hyena nest. They're feasting on an antelope, and they're feasting on me. Fantastic. We just walked into a double penetration of sandstorm. And hyena nest. Pit of Yog. Can I can I jump in here? Oh! Okay. Well, what was I expecting, honestly? There's an unconscious man here. Oh, there we go. Let's fucking punch him in the dick, shall we? You alright, mate? Oh! Oh my god! I punched him in half! <laughs> I hope this video doesn't get age restricted now. He lost his life, and now he's also lost his dignity. To me, it seems like the safest thing to do is build your base near water. That way, if something tries to attack you, it seems to struggle with the thought of swimming to the other side and getting you. I say that, and this fucker all the way over there. Oh, never, never mind. Disregard that piece of advice. When you hit the rock, the rock actually shatters and stuff. That's nice. Oh no! I'm carrying- t Are you fucking kidding me, dude? 
Carrying too much weight and I can't move. Fuck's sake, dude! Ah, uh, you spend all that time gathering, you don't keep an eye on your weight, and then you just get fucking horsed. I'm gonna feel better when I've got myself a house and somewhere I can store my stuff in. There we go, now we've got some protection. Now all I need is a doorway. Here we go, there's my door frame. Ceiling. Boom. We have shelter. Oh, fuck off! That spooked me! Fuck, I might as well take some eggs. Piss off more animals. Oh, wow, what a structure this is. Oh, someone's pissed off. Oh, there he is! We're gonna do a sneak attack. Fucking go! Oh, he's getting wrecked! He's getting absolutely destroyed! Here it is! Fucking survival game combat, boys! Here it is! Oh, no! Well... It's not looking too hot for me, is it? Not at all. In hindsight, I probably should have made a bed and stored all of my items in my storage box before going out and looking for blood. I like that you can just build staircases up mountains. That's really cool. I've played quite a lot of survival games in my time, and I never really expect a whole lot from them, especially when they've just came into early access, because a lot of survival games are complete fucking garbage, even after three or four years of early access. But this one, I do really think it has come to early access in a really playable state. It's certainly one of the more polished early access survival games I've tried. It seems as though throughout the world in this game, you find these ancient artifacts or stone, you go up to them, you interact with them, and you get a little bit more of the story. Jump! Please land in the water. Beautiful. That didn't even damage me. Initially, when I loaded up this game, I wasn't a big fan of the graphics. I remember looking at footage of it online and I thought, oh, wow, this game has some amazing graphics. But when you actually play it, it seems to be a really stylized game. And I think for the most part, it works quite well. Most early access survival games tend to go with really realistic graphics. And by the time it's finished, the game tends to look out of date. But with this stylized art style... I don't really think that'll be the case with this game. Wow, this seems to be a big structure over here. What's this? This person's built a shrine inside of his house. The person that built this house is a little bit of a potato, I have to say. There seems to be something on top of that mountain over there. I wonder if I can climb the mountain and get to it. Oh, okay, it's all of a sudden becoming night time. The uh, day to night transition is a little bit abrupt, I have to say. And it's getting even darker. Oh no. Oh no, let's not get stuck here. Let's not get stuck here. I've really dug myself into a hole here, haven't I? Well, that's kind of fucked me, hasn't it? Let's recreate character. Height. Fire up that breast size. And we're good to go. Is this the edge of the boundary? Okay. So something I didn't really think to check in this game was if it has a map, because a lot of survival games don't have maps. But this game actually does have one, and it even tells you where you are on that map. So, it seems as though there's a lot of exploring we've got to do, so let's have a look around, shall we? As a new player, this game can be fucking annoying at times, because you come across a pack of cheaters, nothing you can do. Absolutely nothing you can do. Lovely, and now we're getting rhinoceros It seems like we're all having a fucking water party right now, aren't we? Oh, what are you gonna do now, bitch? Okay, okay, he's gonna attack me. Apparently, he can effectively attack me underwater. Oh, okay, this isn't working too well, is it? The whole bow system seems to be quite fucked. Oh, it's dead. We killed a rhino. Oh, hello. Fucking hell, he spooked me. Je m'appelle Sesc Fabregas. Okay, cool. He thinks I'm French, and we've also got a fucking bird attacking me. Fucking fuck. Let's just sneeze all day long, shall we? There seems to be a really interesting structure over here. Let's go investigate. What is this? I like that I've just randomly come across this from exploring. There we go. Take an arrow to the ass, friend. Okay. I took an arrow to the head. Oh, fuck off, dog. It's a hyena. It's not a dog. And I've got food poisoning. Lovely. That's what we need. That's what I enjoy on a Sunday. Oh my god, please no! Please no! I'm gonna fucking die, please. Just die, die, die! Please no! I'm alive. No, a fucking crocodile! I just want to explore! 
Oh really? That's a there it is. Now 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 she's fucking dead. I thought, oh the pain's over. I've just killed two fucking hyenas. Now nah, Mr. David the Crocodile has to come out and burst my bubble. I was about to be really proud of that. I survived with like one bit of health. Nah, David has to come along. Fuck off, David. I feel as though to make it over to this area and explore everything in the game, though, you're probably going to want to level up, grab yourself a good bit of gear, and actually be prepared for a long-ass journey. Because just trying to go there as a low level with not much experience or equipment in the game, I'm kind of getting fucked every time, so... In that sense, this does really feel like a survival game. It's very easy to die. And you're going to want to kind of prepare yourself for the dangers that you're going to find when embarking on a journey. And on a final note, one thing I've realised is that in first person mode, if you look down, you can actually see your boobs and your body. I uh, appreciate that. The boob slider in this game does in fact have an impact on gameplay. But I think now would be a good time to maybe wrap this video up with my early thoughts on the game so far because I don't really want to spoil all of the cool and interesting spots there are in the game to discover. So after playing Conan Exiles for a few hours, my early thoughts on the game so far are honestly quite positive. As I said earlier, I don't usually expect a whole lot from early access survival games that have just gone into early access. I expect a crap ton of bugs, fucking awful animation, and not really a whole lot to do, but I didn't really feel that as much with this game as I have other survival games in the past. When it comes to the visuals, I wouldn't say this game's as good looking as something like Ark Survival Evolved, for example. It kind of has a much more stylized look about it, which can help the game age a lot better, as well as bring down the system requirements. When it comes to the performance, most of the time I was getting about 50 frames per second on max graphics with my 980 Ti, which isn't great, but it's still a lot better than many other early access titles that I've played. There was a few occasions where the performance was really bad and the game was just kind of freezing, and that lasted about 20 seconds before fixing itself. Obviously, as an early access title, this game is far from optimized, so hopefully this is just something that will improve over time. Something that did impress me with Conan Exiles, however, was that from the point of view of a new player, I didn't feel the need to have to go online and look up guides on the basics of the game. It all felt very self-explanatory, the user interface was really nicely laid out, and everything was just quite obvious to someone that's played other survival games in the past. I think this is the only survival game I've ever played where I haven't felt the need to go look up some guides, so that's quite a big positive in my book. When it came to the gameplay itself, there wasn't anything that really just stood out for me as being an innovative feature. I do like the way the building works in that you can merge it into the terrain quite well. But other than that, it does seem to be very standard survival game to me. Obviously, I didn't really get too far into the game, so maybe it all changes and it's a completely unique and mind-blowing game once you get further into it. But early on... I didn't really see or feel any of that. Something that's definitely worth mentioning though is the game has really long load times from the point of when you open the game, join a server and are actually at the point where you're playing the game. I think it's a solid five minutes. So in its current state, it doesn't really feel like the kind of game I'm gonna open up just for five or 10 minutes of quick fun just to kill some time. But overall, I did have a decent amount of fun with Conan Exiles and it did surpass my expectations of a brand new early access survival game. I think if you're a casual fan of survival games, I wouldn't really recommend rushing out and buying this game, as for me personally, in its current state, it's not really worth the price. I think it's a lot wiser to just sit back and see how this game develops. However, if you're a diehard survival game fan, then I do think Conan Exiles is a game definitely worth keeping your eye on. Based on what I've seen at this very early stage of development, I think it could turn out to be a really good and fun game, certainly up there with the best in the genre. But that's it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. As always, let me know your thoughts on Conan Exiles in the comments below. Is this a game you're going to be picking up? Does it look like complete trash or can you see some potential in it? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Anyway, I hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again really soon. Oh my god! How did I do that? <laughs> I just knocked him off the map. I love this game at the moment, it's so fun. Oh no.